Hi, my name is Alan Spate. I've had kidney cancer for over 20 years, maybe. I live in Dewsbury. I am Professor Ziwa. I'm a senior consultant interventional radiologist at Leeds Teaching Hospital Trust. And my specialist area of interest is interventional oncology. I was first diagnosed with von Hippolyn Down syndrome, which is a genetic condition. I found out about this. Basically, I went to my doctor's because I had a cloud in my eye. I couldn't see it properly. And he referred me to the hospital, which I saw the specialist there. And he, ha he happened to know about this condition and he picked up on this. So then I got on the screening program, which screened the kidneys and brain and eye and everything. And that would have been about 10, 15 years ago with that. Then, because I, I had been screened, they picked up, and I had, I had some of these uh, kidney ones as well, which is a bit of a shock. When you've totally got something on your kidney, it shouldn't be there. But then I had open surgery to remove these. And this went on for about two or three years. I had open surgery about two times. In 2005, they came up with a new method of operating on these, uh, this cancer, these lumps. Alan was referred to me in June 2005 following a multidisciplinary team discussion and the consensus opinion was to offer image-guided ablation with a heat-based energy known as radiofrequency ablation or in short RFA. You're in and out of hospital two or three days and you'll feel fine after. Then after I had the heat treatment I had to have some more treatment on another that appeared, another cancer lump that appeared. Then it was ice treatment. In uh, 2008, we started uh, developing um, the ice based energy in Leeds. And we had the opportunity then to start using uh, the ice ball treatment, which is also known as cryoablation. So when Alan came back in 2011 with more new kidney cancer, we offered this to him and since then he has gone on to have um, a few more treatment with the ice based energy. With the ice based energy, technically slightly more challenging compared to the heat based energy because we do need to put more than one needle in, so the minimum is at least two, but most tumour you need to at least three to four uh, needles and often you can go up to as many as 10 or 12, but in Alan's case, the tumour usually is small, so we do treat uh, ranging from uh, 3 to 6 needles for each of his uh, cancer that he presented to us. In uh, 2015, I had uh, a new procedure, which was electrical probe. So I have a conversations with our clinical team through the multidisciplinary team meeting to actually explain to them maybe this is the kind of energy we can use in Ireland in order to make sure that we preserve his kidney function. If otherwise, treating a tumor error technique can potentially mean that he'll lose this very precious kidney. Uh, following everyone's uh, approval, and we obtained our trust approval in order to introduce this new electrical energy, also known as irreversible electroporation, in short, ILE, or it has to have actually a commercial name known as nano knife treatment. This time it was slightly trickier because that particular tumor sat close to the, what we call the collecting system or the waterworks uh, drain pipe that drained the urine from the kidneys uh, uh, downstream. And it's also very close to the blood vessels Alan indeed was the first kidney cancer that was treated with this electrical energy in the United Kingdom. So all three techniques, whether they're heat, ice or electrical energies, are performed in a very similar fashion. 
all the patients require general anesthetic in order to have the treatment. So first of all, in order to have this treatment, they must be fit enough to have general anesthesia. And usually, they come to the hospital either the night before or the morning of the treatment, and the whole procedure takes about three to four hours in total, from going to sleep to waking up again. The part that where we stick needle into patients and plan the treatments will take about an hour to an hour and a half, depending on the operator experience. However, the patient is going to sleep require about 20 to half an hour. And positioning a patient is very important. It's absolutely crucial to get the patient in the right place and ensure all the pressure areas are well padded so they don't develop pressure sores at the end of the procedure. When we plan the treatment, we use the CT, which is computer tomography, to guide us, or we can use ultrasound. We require ablation, which is the eye space energy, or ILE, which is the electrical energy. Usually, we require this to be done under CT guidance because we need to place multiple needles and in parallel fashion. Both techniques are technically challenging compared to the heat-based energy which only require one needle because we need to place the needles for ice-based energy as well as electrical energy in power fashion and more so in the electrical energy the distance between needles are required to be extremely precise it needed to be greater than one centimeter and less than two centimeters apart so it is technically demanding once the needles are placed in, in the right place in the tumor, they are then connected up to the relevant generators. For the heat-based energy, it will produce either radio frequency ablation wave or indeed there's a new heat-based energy wave known as microwave to actually heat the tumor. If it's connected up to the cryo generator, which is the ice-based energy, this will produce ice bolts. An ice ball can be seen beautifully on the scanner and that is the beauty why ice bay energy has captured attention, especially in kidney cancer, because it can allow the operator to be much more confident in preserving the kidney functions during treatment. Today I feel fine, I don't have any problems as such. I deal with this situation I don't really talk to talk about it much. I just sleep. I just, it, it sort of it happens. I've got it. I can't do anything about it. So I, I just forget about it, and then things happen, and then you just go on and on, and just life carries on. Thank you for watching, and good luck to all of you, wherever you are on your kidney cancer journey.